Hello, everybody. This is Pastor David Newell, and I trust you're having an awesome week. And if you're not, hopefully that uh, this video will encourage you and bless you. Um, I'm excited about Sunday. We're going to have a, a really unusual service. It's an anointing service is what it is, and we're going to be anointing people with special oil. You say, what are you talking about? Well, very, very interesting. Uh, there is a pastor in uh, Dalton, Georgia, uh, who in his small church with a number of people began to pray for revival, began to pray for a mighty move of God. Um, beginning last January, this past January, uh, he was getting up to speak and he noticed that there was a large spot of oil uh, on his Bible. He, was, he had the Bible to open to the 39th Psalm make a long story short, uh, his Bible began to be saturated with oil all the way from uh, in front of all the people and, and all the way from Psalms to Revelation and then it went back again starting in Genesis and went to the 39th Psalm. Uh, people began to put their hands on the oil. They began to pray for people. Uh, bottom line is um, they put the Bible in a transparent container and uh, when they came back the next day, the, the container was halfway filled with oil that had come out of the Bible. Um, kind of like what happened with Elisha, you know. Well, they began to pour the oil out. The Holy Spirit spoke to them and said, if you charge for it, I'll stop it. I want you to use it and pray for people. Uh, the healing power of God began to flow. Churches all over the place began to ask for this. They sent it out at their own expense. They, one of them, they asked for a gallon. They poured a gallon out, and it refilled back up the next day miraculously. So uh, we were able to get some of this as well. Uh, John Kilpatrick, who was the great lead pastor for the Brownsville Revival, sent his wife down to check it out. And uh, she came back and said, I really believe this is God. And so we're going to be using this uh, on Sunday. I'm going to be preaching on the anointing. Um, and I want to just read a few scriptures for you. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, I'm going to explain best I can, but I'm not, uh, I've got some fresh oil myself as far as revelation goes. And uh, I'm going to be sharing that on Sunday. Uh, so we will look for you. But I want to read a few scriptures. And out of the Amplified, this is, from the 92nd Psalm and verse 10. He says, But my horn, the emblem of excessive strength and stately grace, you have exalted like that of a wild ox. I am anointed with fresh oil. Praise God. And so uh, we believe that uh, this is, by the way, they a chemist sent away for to see what the ingredients were on, in this oil. And he said it had... It came back saying it was an oil base, but some of the ingredients, they did not know what they were. They were not anything that they knew of in the natural. So, um, you know, the people say, well, oh, what is it? Well, it's a sign and a wonder. It's a sign that will make you wonder. I believe it's a direct manifestation of God's presence. Okay? And... Um, let me read some other scriptures uh, to you. This is one that I want to read from 2 Corinthians. Because in reality, all of us, once we receive Christ, are anointed. We're anointed. You say, well, how do you know that? Well, in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21, the Bible says, But God, who confirms and makes us steadfast and establishes us in joint fellowship with you in Christ, and has consecrated, and has anointed us in doing, a, in, uh, in doing us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so the word of the Lord says we already have an anointing on the inside of us. Well, you say, I need a few more scriptures. Well, I had intended to read this one, but check out 1 John 2.20. The Bible says you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. All right? So... And also in the 27th verse of 1 John 2, uh, we already have the anointing, but this 
special anointing from God, this oil, uh, is being poured out. It's being given to us. And I believe the Lord has showed me the reason. And I'm not going to share it with you. Uh, I'm going to give you some general things today, but I'm going to share the essence of what I just said on Sunday morning. Now, I want to read another scripture, and this is uh, in Acts 10.38, because we are all called as believers to do the very ministry of Jesus. Acts 10.38 talks about how God anointed and consecrated Jesus of Nazareth with a Holy Spirit and with strength and ability and power. And how he went about doing good, and in particular, curing or healing all who are harassed and oppressed by the power of the devil, for God was with him. Wow, isn't that beautiful? So, you know, the Bible says over in 1 John 3, 8, that Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. And this is our calling as well. That's what we're called to do. And uh, we, we're we going to have a fresh oil anointing with this special oil. We, we consider it a, a, a great blessing to use it. Uh, and God is, I believe, given it to us for a specific reason that the Holy Spirit showed me. I'll be sharing that on Sunday. But one more scripture, and I love this. This is in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9. You have loved righteousness. You have, speaking of the Lord Jesus, you have delighted in integrity, virtue, and uprightness, and purpose, and thought, and action. You have hated lawlessness, injustice, and iniquity. This is speaking of Jesus Christ. Therefore, God, even your God, speaking of the Father, has anointed you with the oil, I love this, of exultant joy and gladness above and beyond your companions. Wow. So, the you know, as we enter into this ministry of Jesus, as we stir up the anointing that's already in us, as we enter into this ministry of Jesus, oh, it's going to produce great joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory. And we, we will be anointing the sick and be leaving God for a great manifestation of healing. We will be anointing heads of families to pray and anoint their families. We will be doing some other special things. And we, we will have a, our pastoral team set aside to just to anoint and pray for all the singles that are there. And then I and I will be doing something special that, well, we'll tell you about it on Sunday as far as using that oil. So we're going to have a great day. We love you. We're excited about what God is doing in your life. We will look for you in the river on Sunday morning. God bless you is my prayer.